Come with me and you'll see inside Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Look inside, you can't hide from Enchanted Mirror Tarot. All right, Pisces, so let's get started. So I see ultimately this is going to be a very emotion, like this is, this is going to be a very immature relationship. There could be children involved. Um, it could be an earth sign child. And I see that it's somebody who, I mean, this is just like very unsuccessful. There's a lack of commitment here. There's just too many bad habits. This can't be saved. So your next relationship, it's just, it's not going to work out. But you need, you need to be on this relationship because ultimately what we learned in the outcome is that it's going to lead you to the person that you're going to marry and it's going to put you in your power seat. It's going to get you to where, like, this whole life journey that we're on is for a reason. Uh, you are the suit of grail. So there's 10 life lessons, and then you have to elevate b from a uh, messenger to a knight to a queen to a king you're at the queen status here even if you're a man you're at the queen status so you're elevating you're trying to get to the king status where you're in complete control of your emotions you're not there yet but you've elevated to a point where you're able to influence others and break toxic cycles and you're going to be this like this relationship this whole relationship, the whole purpose of it is to bring you towards your emperor, towards the person that you're going to marry, towards stability, towards making head over heart decisions, towards getting into your power seat. Yeah, this is your other power card. So we have two Pisces power cards. We have the moon. So there's secrets here, but you need to dive into your subconscious mind because you already have all of the answers within you already. There's fear, but you just need to sleep on it. You need to meditate and you'll already know the answers to all of your questions because you're highly intuitive. This relationship is just coming in so reckless. I mean, you're not, there's no planning. This is just like very out of control. And I see it's coming in at a time that you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. You're at a place in your life that you shouldn't be. And I see that you don't even see a future with this person. You're just physically attracted to them. This is all about physical attraction. You know, <coughs> excuse me. We're a water sign. We're very emotional. Right here, there's no emotion at all. There's money. All of this is money. And this is ambition. And this is money. There's no love. There's no sentimentality here. And over here, we have, how is this going to affect you? And you're blinded. You don't, you have painful decisions that you have to make. There's painful decisions that you have to make. And you're taking your time. You're, you're, this, there's this team that you built. There's this team that you built. But it's coming to a close and you have to make some painful decisions. But ultimately, I see you heading towards the future. You know, you're. this is somebody who doesn't mince words. This is somebody who speaks the truth no matter what. And I see you 
being propelled forward and there's frustration there's a lot of frustration and you're holding on to things but once you break these toxic cycles and you get in your power seat then I see that the person that you're going to marry is ultimately going to be coming in to your life you have to learn how to break these toxic cycles you need to sleep on it this is a lesson that you know this person isn't your soulmate there's no cards of soulmate here this is a very toxic relationship and I feel like you're just very sexually attracted to this person and there could be some financial, like money could be a, a reason, like an attractor for you um, to this person. But I don't see any love here. But as soon as you break these toxic cycles, then I see you in your power seat because we have two cards of you growing, two cards of you being in your power seat here. All right, as far as major life events, we have several. We have the moon, which is your power card. This is number 18 on the fool's journey. It could be Pisces or Cancer. It talks about mental health, drug and alcohol abuse. Um, and then we have the fool, which is the whole purpose of... The entire journey, you need the full in order to do the whole journey. So we have like the most important card of the entire tarot deck, but it's in the reverse. So this is a foolish journey that you're beginning. It's a fool's journey and it's reckless. All right, and then we have... The world, which is the ending of the Major Arcana. So we have the very first card of the Major Arcana. And then we have the very last card of the Major Arcana. The Major Arcana are the major life events. So we have the first and we have the last. We have a beginning and we have an ending. But both of them are in the reverse. So there's a reckless beginning and then there's a refusal to let this end, even though it needs to end. So it's causing you to be burdened and weighed down. Then we have the Emperor, which is number four. On the major arcana. And that's making head over heart decisions. It's developing yourself. Developing ideas. Developing a tough exterior. Gaining stability. So we have the beginning of the major arcana. The end of the major arcana. We have four... And we have 18. We have Pisces, Cancer, Aries, um, Aries, Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini. All right. As far as people... We have the Daughter of Skulls, so that would be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. That's a, it could indicate a child, it's a person, it's a character card, or a concept, like college dropout, or a lack of commitment, or somebody who's abusive with bad habits. We have... The Lord of Knives, which would be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's in the reverse. So it's somebody who is very, like, verbally abusive, very inhumane. And we have the Queen of Grills, which is our power card. That is the card of, well, it could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But because it's us and it's in the final outcome, I'm saying that's our power card because it is. It is. And it's uh, developing psychic abilities. It's a nurturer. It's a counselor. Somebody that you meet in secret. But somebody who's very mature. Somebody who's influential and influences the king. 
as far as people, like, I would say Aries is a big contender in this. I also have Libra very strong. I have another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I don't really have enough to, like, I'm feeling Capricorn in this, but I don't have enough to, yeah, I'm feeling more Aries or Libra. Those are what I feel very strong, Aries or Libra. Very, very strong here. All right, time frame. Beginning, ending, begin. Oh, there's a lot of beginnings. Here's another. We have ace, ace, the fool. We have three beginnings. And then endings. We have one ending, but it's a big ending. It's like the final ending, but you're refusing to let this end. But it needs to end in order to gain ultimate stability. And I see that it will eventually end. But as far as beginnings, I see uh, three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. Three weeks to three months. Yeah. Yeah, and you're definitely going to have choices. There's going to be options for you to take at that time. So you can change this ultimately. I mean, you see that this person is no good. You really don't see a future with them, like, ever. But you really like how they physically look, and there could be some financial reasons that you want to go towards this. Um, they do have other options, and I see them having to make some decisions about what type of team they want to go on. There's, I mean, it's very verbally abusive. This person is not a very good communicator at all. And it causes a lot of frustration that this person isn't a good communicator. Yeah, and it causes you to feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. But ultimately, it's going to lead you to your power. Secrets are going to come out. All right, if you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more, please consider liking, commenting, um, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Oops.